Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Solasta, Crown of the Magister. Now we've finally made it to this nasty, swampy, dark area, which seems to be enshrouded in eternal night. And I'm going to push this tree down, because it's old and rotten and still strong enough for us to cross. And let's see what's in this barrel. Okay, so we got some arrows, crossbow bolts, some projectile parts, a farewell letter, and a scroll of sea invisibility. Let's read that letter. If this is found, please forward to my wife Elle. Address is at the bottom. L, for 30 years I've always promised to come back safely to you. This time I'm going to be late. It was a spectacular battle, but this beast was better than my sword. I will light the fire and wait by the door until you get there. Love, Jay. Let's ignore the obvious R plus L equals J nonsense for a moment and just focus on the fact that whoever it was was assailed by some pretty nasty creature. The gems in the castle? Maybe. It's in that direction. That's a good-sized castle. A garrison of two dozen at least. We're not getting in that way. Could we climb up? It's too open out here. We'd be easy targets. We'll have to find another way. We could just show our legacy council credentials. Assuming they're law-abiding folk who respect the council. Not too many of those around here, I'm guessing. So, just for the record, when the soldiers on the battlements have red glowing eyes and no skin, they're probably not going to be friendly. Let's explore around outside the castle for a bit, see what else we can find. And look, there's moonlight on the water there. Is there something in the water there? There was an odd irregularity in the surface. Hmm. This place evokes, it, it exudes atmosphere. Look, there's a wolf, another wolf. These wolves are not of abnormal size. Who's this? Seems to like wolves. Could be a ranger. Could be a werewolf. Could be something else. It doesn't matter that he likes wolves. What matters is that the wolves like him. Look, Leilana, I know you've got the crown and the power's gone to your head. Let's not attack him, okay? Let's talk. You might know something about the castle. It can't hurt to ask. What a terrible role. Alright, so we're going to use Channel Divinity Golden Speech in the hope that it assists us here. And then we're going to hope we don't roll cack. Hello. We come in peace. Can we talk to you? Oh, that's good. Talk then, and stay where you are. I can hear you well enough from here. We're interested in the castle. Can you tell us anything about it? Not much. What do you want to know? Are you a werewolf? I mean, um, <clears throat> who rules the castle? Who's in charge there? Who rules the castle? Or should I ask what rather than who? Name's Mardacht. Probably undead, but I've never met him. Probably undead? Why do you say that? Undead or necromancer is my guess. Everyone I've seen there is undead. Alright, that pretty much answers this question, but Torin wants to know anyway, just for the sake of his curiosity. Who lives there? What can you tell us about them? I deal with the guard, Captain. Name's Adam the Twelfth. Undead now. He lets us hunt here, and we tell him who comes and goes. Oh, sounds like a good arrangement. So you've never been inside the castle? No. And there's no one else outside the castle? Just a ghost, a dwarf, 
doesn't seem dangerous. Hmm. Okay, so that beggars two questions. Adam the Twelfth, what? And more importantly, if you say that he is undead now, was there a time when you knew him and he was not undead? The implication there is yes, you knew him before he became undead. Which means you know a lot more than you're letting on. But since there are undead in the castle, Leilana would like to know how many she's going to be facing. What kind of opposition? What sort of force occupies it? What sort of numbers? What's the garrison like? Strong? Weak? Monsters? The captain's a wraith, or something similar. The guards mostly skeletons. Undead? What other abominations are in there? That's what I've seen from outside. Never been inside. All right, well, Geffen thinks we've heard enough for now. Look at him looking all uncomfortable there. Many thanks for the information. Uh, I didn't catch your name. Talbot. Well, Talbot, we think you're a vampire. We also don't like how friendly you are with these wolves, so we're going to... Look, we're going to go this way a little bit just to get a bit of map uncovered, but the thing's growling and snarling at us. We're going to move off. And let's just hope we don't have to come back. Um, yeah, about that. We might have to come back. So obviously we want to avoid going straight into the castle. Additionally, we are somewhat heavily encumbered, and I should do something about that. Is anyone actually in heavy? Yes, you are. Okay, how about some food? That works. That works for everyone. Great. Food has been redistributed, because when they eat, they don't each one eat one food from their own inventory first. They pick one person on the list, and everybody eats that person's food. And it's, um, I can't remember if it's high to low or low to high or whatever it is, but it, it does end to some people being heavily encumbered for longer. Now, here we have a camping spot where we could absolutely stop and camp. We won't yet, but it would be a very good place to stop and level up if we hadn't done that on the way here. If we got into a scuffle with some wolves, let's say, and had to level up that way. Now there's also a bit of land over here we can step on. There's lots of places, like uh, here, that look like we can step on them and we just can't. So we need to be careful about stuff like that. So, map so far, long rest safe area, a basket. I'll be checking that soon. Where's this basket? Hello, basket. You're right there. I see, that's really rather close. But for now, let's meander up this path and see what we can find. There is a blue see-through glowing dwarf. I'm going to go out on a limb here and presume he is the ghost. Look, that must be the dwarf ghost we heard about. Well, let's see what he wants. He's clearly been here for quite a long time, and he's got a reason. I'll take information where I can get it, even from a ghost. That's terrible. Okay. A what? what why? I don't know. Hello. Hello. Are you the antiquarian we've heard about? Hello. I'm Ingby Cramson of the Guild of Antiquarians. Or at least I used to be. What can you tell us about the castle? Who lives there? Two women. A high elf, but living and quite old. She's a necromancer of some sort. And the other? Once human, but definitely undead now. The Defiler, I think. And she had a gang of ghouls with her. Horrid beasts. Ooh. I avoided them. Is there anyone else? There's a garrison. 
Skeletons more His like accent slipped on the I word gang. Them too. I think we know enough now. Thank you. Actually, I was hoping to ask you a greater favor. A favor? How can we help you? I was killed in this cemetery. Me bones are here somewhere. And you'd like us to take them home for burial so you can find peace? Well, yes. But they got a little scattered. The wolves, you see. Now that's just rude. Those bloody wolves. As far as I can feel, they are in three separate places. Well, that's just you all over. It's not just about burial. Though, of course, I'd be grateful for that, too. Since I was killed, I carried on studying this necropolis. But I can't touch material things, including pens. Oh, God. So I couldn't update my journal. Now that's what I call a worker. He went so and American on the word touch there. And bone to my mortal remains, I can't return to Ker Keeflin to report in person. But if you take my bones back, perhaps my spirit could travel with them. And the knowledge I've recovered won't be lost. So, he has terrible World of Warcraft fake Scottish. It's really bad. Sometimes he goes a bit American, often he goes English. His accent is very hard to discern. But tell you what, we will do it. You can rely on us. Anything to lay that awful accent to rest. Now, find Angby's bones. Well, where could they be? I see the glisten of something over here, and I'm going to go pick it up. <coughs> I see a pile of bones. I think Torin is the most appropriate person to be carrying these. That was the third. Okay. So we're looking at two more. And these are interestingly pushing him up into heavy, so let's give those to Safi. Also, Safi has been rolling a lot of the insight checks recently. Is she good at it? And if she's not, why is she the one always being chosen? Oh, I, I don't see an insight. Oh, look. Why is Safi the one? always making the insight rolls when she's the worst at it. Is it always picking the person in third place, or what is the reason? I don't know. I'd like to know. And we have more bones to fight. Laralir Soafarin Cook. 1347 to 2512. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these names were provided by Kickstarter backers, or members of the company staff and if it hey there's another one there but they do add flavor to the courtyard to the graveyard for goriel apprentice 2206 to 2293 and we don't know the current date in here we have a tomb containing some coins, some serpentine, projectile parts and food. I'm not going to take those because that would be grave robbing and would be most dishonorable. I have a horrible feeling that when the scavengers come here, they'll just take it all anyway. Here is something down in that trench. I see plenty of coins, scroll of invisibility, oil of acuteness. That's another one we could make another. We could make an acute magical item now. Craft a ration pouch and a weapon. Lovely. A weapon that is lacking its chain. So it's a morning star mace, not a morning star flail. Is there anything? Can we get in here? We can. Beautiful. Wonderful. But we obviously have more bones to find. Here is a door which we can absolutely open. Iron Legion 25 The Glorious Dead. Okay can we go inside? We can you say. We could light all of these torches if we had a torch or candle lit. These 
This looks like it goes down underground somewhere and will help us get into the castle. But there was a basket near the campsite and we're looking for bones. I think a basket is a little bit too organized a container for wolves to leave bones in, but I would not be surprised if the wolves had dragged some bones over to Talbot's hut. What's in the basket? Rations and an angry violet. So I am leaning towards trying to find all of Angby's bones and getting out of here for encumbrance purposes, you know, eat our food on the way back to civilization, deliver the bones and then tackle the side quest in Care Kiflin because it's probably easier than the encounters we had on the way here. Hey you. We're going to come closer. We're going to come so damn close. We're going to come so close, but we're going to go all the way over here and say, yeah, shoot. Bugger off, wolf. Oh, look. More bones. Well, hey, here we go. The second group. So we're looking to find the first group of bones. And now that we have an extra row... I'm going to put, so that's the third, that's the second, in theory. Right, arrows. We don't need those. He needs those. Let's actually do something about these arrows, okay? Um, we have arrows. We can do something about those. Because anything we manage to get rid of, is something we're not carrying around. Poisoned against the undead, that ain't going to do much. Corrosive, a little bit more. And you... No, no, okay. So what have we here? A crate, a door. He's probably not going to like us if we open that door. Another crate. Um, and chest and shelves and out here a crate well back in early access I don't remind, remember finding anything in the house or out the back here that was the third pile of bones so I'm just going to keep looking for the bones I have an annoying feeling <coughs> <coughs> that the third pile of bones are inside the castle Oh, I'm going to have a quick drink of water because my throat is just still dry from that cough and not <clears throat> not moisting up at all. Oh, oh that's better. So, I could just walk in straight in through the front doors and get into a fight. That's probably a bad idea. Can we avoid heavy encumbrance? Yes, we can. How do we do it? You can actually carry quite a bit. So, I'm going to give you this. That almost does it. And this. And this. Hmm. Okay. It does weigh. And these. That definitely... Oh, it keeps her in light as well. Wonderful. So, I don't see any other places where those bones could be right now. Which means, of course, I want to do some exploring. I still don't like Safi being forced to make the 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 inspiration rolls, whatever it's called, um, instead of anyone else. So I'm going to go in here.
The outside graves were likely for servants and guards. The mausoleum holds a few burials, but its main purpose is to hide this secret entrance. The most important graves are in the catacombs down below. And by important, you mean rich. Well, I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it, however, we bring light in darkness. Is that it's going to be dark down there. And we could absolutely use some party light sources in such a dark place. <clears throat> so we have emerged on the surface once again in a not so dark place, carrying lights that would render us rather visible and there we go well ghouls have spotted us hello ghouls this is violence it begins with a hammer and ends with your surrender or die mate they're already dead sort of there are a l mm. Two, five ghouls is that? That's actually pretty bad for us. Right. Hey, Geffen, guess what? Um, that's bad. Just go to here and hold on for now. Now, we would like you to come out here and smack that one. Don't waste it. He's pre-wounded. Also pretty sturdy though, so she may be in trouble. Because these things are likely to have multiple attacks. Okay, so Safi's gonna come to here and say this looks pretty serious, so we're gonna drop one on you, one on you, one on you, because we can. Still standing, good to note. Three more ghouls. Get a go. All right, Torin, can you smack this one down? You absolutely can. Get to there as well. It's a good place to be. And end your turn. Don't worry, Geffen's coming in to lend a hand soon. Hit back. Psychic damage? What kind of cool Kulukfulu stuff is this? Well, let's pop in here and attack. And miss. And attack again. And miss again. It's okay, at least we got to roll. Right. Hit it. And miss. That's a problem. Okay, Safi, if you if you pop out to here, then here, and then you be like, hey look, here's an acid splash. Okay, okay, let's let's cancel. Right? Acid splash, if you have one instead, that'd be great. Um Yeah. Okay, so no attack roll, just a saving throw. All right. And here comes that ghoul. And then this final one could get rather dangerous. I'm sensing another magic missile spell may be in order. Right. Uh, Torin, wallop this one, please. <laughs> Okay, we're needing a bit of a damage boost. Something like Divine Favor. Okay, that's really big. Now we are attacking in desperation. That's unfortunate. Okay, you're badly hurt. Slightly more badly hurt and a miss. That's really bad news for us. Can we cast a spell? No. Okay. 
I, I love how he dodges while paralyzed. Okay, so this is clearly an emergency. We're going to pump in two, just to be sure, and one over here. Reducing the attacks on Torrin, who is still paralyzed. Oh dear, that's bad damage. Okay, he's no longer paralyzed. We need to be doing some damage here. No quarter given. You know what, Geffen? For someone as squishy as you, you hit hard enough there. Just about right. It was perfect. No sneak attack on that one. Interesting. Hey, look what we're going to do. We're going to totally say, mate, you need this. All of them. I owe you my life. Oh, you certainly do. And a debt that you will shortly repay. Right. Uh, let's try to just light these up. Oh, well. Could be a lot worse. And move to here. Just be careful, because there could be more dangerous monsters about. Okay, good saving throw. Not going to complain. Can you hit it? Yes, you can! Excellent. And speaking of hitting... Oh, that's perfect. Right, yeah, just... Just nip into that square, mate, and have a go at this one as well. Just bear in mind that if he has, decides to go for you and you fail that save, you're in deep, deep doo-doo. Uh, yes. Bend the knee or perish. Our knowledge of ghouls has increased. That's brilliant. And they didn't drop any treasure. Right. This looks like it cannot open. This up here, no path to destination. And yet, I know kids who do that faster. Hey, look at this, mate. Go cautious. Go cautious. Don't be a wally now. Go up here, sneaky peeky peeky sneaky, looking over the edge. And hello, that looks like treasure to me. Oh yes, lots of coins, some abyss moss, a longbow, and some food. That's okay. And now let's go back down to the others. Also, stop sneaking for a bit. Um, there's obviously something here that we want. What else do we want? We want to explore this blue thing, obviously, because that looks like some kind of transition. Is it the way we came up? No, because we came from that room over there. Let's find out. This drain could be a way in. Into what? The bathroom's one way and a cesspool the other? Suppose we get down there and it's just six inch pipes. Then we'll look for another way in. But let's try it first. Yeah, about that. Let's just, uh, let's just hold off on that for a moment and see if we can get round to... Hey, can we just open this? That's really handy. Can we get in here? Uh oh, show. Sure. Uh, yes, we can, but it's rather awkward. Okay. Well, now that we've got here, uh, coins, scroll of guiding bolts, some brimstone viper scales, food, and a light crossbow. Okay. Let's all just hole up in here for a moment and consider our options. So if we move some of these candles to say you, that's not enough. Okay, heavy, not quite heavy, not quite heavy. Okay, let's give those candles to you instead. We're in the kind of situation where encumbrance is becoming an issue. So, 
could cast a spell, and we have plenty of them. Prayer of Healing is really nice, especially if other people are hurt. Simple level 1 healing spell ought to do it. It won't push him up to full, but it'll put him pretty close. So, I think we're wanting to try and pick up a little bit more stuff before we leave. Now, back this way, we have the entrance area. So I'd like to explore, say, this direction. You know, because it's nice and dark here, and apparently we're just not allowed to go through here at all. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. So this will let us sneak in. And... Going this way will get us into some kind of big fight. And we have some heavy encumbrance to deal with. Two people heavily encumbered. Can we change that? Yes, we can, but we need to be careful about it. Let's move this club. That doesn't quite do it. Let's move this club. Why don't the clubs weigh anything? The clubs do weigh something. But not enough, apparently. Okay, let's move that food. That really does it. Um, I'm seeing a real food issue here. So the question is, what could I craft? I don't want to make that. I want to make this. I don't have the blood of Celeste. I could make the axe. What else can we make? Because if we're going to... It doesn't feel worth camping right now. So, give you this. That doesn't do it. Um, this. Yes. And if I give this to you, um, and one of these. this okay okay and um ooh let's try this this is probably quite heavy oh that's so close now all right can i split i can brilliant yeah do it Oh yes, I've done it. So now I can afford to go into one more fight. Provided I can pull that out. Yeah. Alright, let's see where we can go from here. Can you sneak up here? The others um, among your allies had better not sneak. Look, Geffen's got the low, the low willpower. Okay, uh, Safi, how about you sneak up here as well and hide behind this rock, while Geffen wants to go steal what's in there. Let's try and get everybody up here in case it all kicks off. That archer is an issue. Okay, rob it. So, rations, food, healing potion, lovely. Also, heavy encumbrance. All right. This cannot be opened. This, uh, well, there's, if I come down this side, can I open it? 
we'd still have to climb through rubble. Or does it open up? This skeleton is watching. Which means you lot want to switch to ranged weapons. Can I open that? Cannot be opened. Okay. Well, we've got a skeleton here. We can work with this, right? More importantly, there's a skeleton up there. Can we climb up and get him? I'd say he's a bit high. But if we can, oh, we can. Can we go to here? And no, we've been spotted. We can't push him off easily. We're still going to try, though. All right, this skeleton is climbing up on the rubble. Safi, I want you to stop hiding. Uh, I want you to shoot this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, like go to here, right? You got a crossbow. Um, shoot this little potter. Lovely. You should now no longer be hiding, because this is a dangerous situation. What kind of spell could you cast? Magic weapon? Touch. Maybe when someone's standing next to you. Okay, Geffen. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to push this skeleton off. Yeah. Perfect. Now I want you to feel really smug and stand up here and get your bow ready to shoot things. Because it's going to go down. Also, there's a body there to loot. Oh, look at all that hanging moss. That's blatantly a climbing point. As the AI is about to... Oh my god, yes. To demonstrate. Okay, Geffen, you're a magnificent target. Hey, guess what? You, stop hiding. I, I really need you to, to stop hiding. Look, go to here and be revealed. Sorry. Don't be sorry, man. It's fine. Just shoot this little bugger. Well, I mean, he's bigger than you. Hey, you tried. Right. Can we get here? Yes, we absolutely can. Can we shoot a skeleton? We Not ideal. Not ideal. Oh, I like the jump across. The, the lack of battle music is very low key. I can live with it. Oh, hey, you came here, did you? Right, look. So, Safi's gonna totally disengage. You can take it. Hey, what happened to the disengage? <sighs> well, I wanted her to move around behind it. Never mind. Okay, so that wasn't a disengage at all. She just walked away and got hit. Very disappointing. But I'm going to cast Acid Arrow on this skeleton here. Got you. And end her turn. Right, mate. Switch and strike. Yeah, you got disadvantage because of encumbrance. We're working on it. That was a misclick. I just wanted you to do that instead. But hey, it worked. Your acrobatic distraction allowed you to land a blow. Okay, are you lot coming to... Uh oh. Are you going to come play with us? That would be really nice. Torin, mash him up. This one's got no shield. Should be easier to hit. Should being the operative word there. And we absolutely want to see all these enemies come to fight us. Oh, but... She really wanted to loose that arrow. She'd been holding it there point blank and was like, I'm going to shoot anyway.
Oh, that's a problem. Oh, come on, man. That's not fair. He's going to suffer now. Right. Speaking of suffering, we would absolutely like it if this skeleton wasn't there anymore. And you know what? That one for shield and that one without the shield, they can take some damage too. Another one bites the dust. I'm not even gonna. Okay, why won't you let me move? There we go, that's much better. Awesome. Okay, mate, look. So there's a few things you need to do. Like, uh... That healing potion, for example, that's a top priority. Can you get down there as well? That Cunning dash. Wow, you, you can't even go down. Lovely, we're going to work on that. Oh, knocked her down. Interesting. Wait, knocked her down, then attacked? Oh, mate, come on, that's just not working. All right. New plan. Healing word. You need it, pal. And then I'm going to try hit this one. Come on. Oh, bad luck. So these are some coordinated and highly skilled skeletons. Also, Geffen's a sitting duck up there right now. Oh, Skeleton Enforcer, right, yeah, hits him hard, because he's hard to hit. Yep, mate, they're going to keep doing that. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to... Blatantly, why can't I cast any other spell? Oh, there we go, right. Yeah, I'm going to start with this. Hey, look at this. Here's a spell I haven't cast before. Hello, Flaming Sphere. I would like you to slam into an opponent. Yeah, that one will do. That I like. Yeah. Okay, mate, you can go to there. Swap to your bow. Shoot this one. Look, it's disadvantage, but at least you get to roll. And you hit too. Cunning. Dash. A little bit further. And we'll sort out your inability to climb down encumbrance issue later on. Uh, yeah, we're going to hit you. Don't know where you're going, but might as well take the attack of opportunity. Oh, you didn't go far. Right. Another enforcer. Well, I think he'll be burning soon. Oh, nasty. Okay. Hit it. Don't waste it. And move to there. Uh, yeah, cast a spell, mate. If it keeps you alive, it's all good. That's not so good. Alright, if I go to here... Can I move this, like, down... Oh, yeah. Down into the courtyard, towards these two. Can I even shoot one as... I can! That's brilliant! Shoot and move the ball. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I want you to shoot this one again. Not expecting much. Go down to there, please. And then, cunning dash to get that little bit of extra cover here. At least make them move to have to target you a bit, you know? Like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, well. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's terrible. I can live with it, though. 
That second attack, though, is a problem. Right, well, we need to absolutely smite this one, because he's going to be... A... Or just miss. And you are coming looking for line of sight, aren't you? Okay, yeah, jump down and climb back up. That's a total AI thing to do. You are a high priority target. Meanwhile, we would like you to go attack the high priority target over here. Look, it's a start. And then we would like to say, I want a level 2 magic missile. Can I get... I can. Beautiful. Not quite enough, I'm afraid, but we got to try. And do I get to shoot my crossbow as well? No. That might be asking a little bit too much. Right, let's go up here, get a slightly better vantage point, and go blink. Miss completely. Cunning dash. Back down the stairs. I'm an idiot. He can teleport. We could have teleported down from there. Oh, does it have to be on the horizontal plane? There's an interesting thought. Right, smack this. Didn't work. You know what, though? Healing Word is a great spell. Especially when you're this badly hurt. Especially when the enemy has two attacks. And archers. Hit it hard! I am unbeatable. Well, that needed to be done. Yeah, you're kind of... That works. Oh, mate. Insist on that bit of high ground. Okay. Okay. Well, let's start with you. And then, how about another magic missile spell? I want you... You... And you like a really bad song. I want you, 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 you know the one. Right, go here, be a target, be very visible. You have more hit points from the healer at the moment. Look, we're getting disadvantage anyway, so might as well roll. Uh, with 16 hit points, yeah, go up here and be a target. Even dash to like here. Mate, he doesn't even have a hand weapon. He swapped from his bow so quickly on that attack of opportunity. Okay, so. Swap, cast. We'll go big cast. And a move. Swap, move, and be like, hey, you're all targets and you need shooting now. Keep them coming. Now, we've got a thief who needs saving. Mainly from himself. Wait, can we get you? Yeah. We can get one of you from here. Is it you? It's you. You get shot at. I know. It's a great prize. And let's move you. Can we move you up here? Or do you have to come up this way? Let's bring you this way just in case. Uh, so hey look, here's like 
shooting. I know you like it. And you're probably a bit better than me, to be honest, but I get to try. Okay, okay. This is how we do it, do it. It's like a bad song again. We're getting so many bad songs, it's brilliant. Oh, mate, you are just not getting up that side at all. Oh, interesting. You can just... Yeah, but if I go into the courtyard, something bad could happen. So let's just stick to here for now. Uh, dash. I don't like this. This is bad. We'll just end there. Yeah, that hurt, man. It's like a, a long, slow shootout of... Oh, yeah. Just, just... Did that just, like, levitate up diagonally from the floor to the ceiling? That was amazing. Right, let's go to here. Can you shoot from this angle? Please say yes. You can. Well, that's great. Well struck. Okay, let's eliminate that height advantage ever so slightly and still shoot with disadvantage. Oh yes. And now we're down in the courtyard. Stop! Don't move! Who are you? Well, we know who you are. Yeah, we should absolutely negotiate. Will you at least hear us before we go? We understand that your master values his privacy, and, and we respect that. You may not have heard of the Legacy Council, but... I know the name. That dwarf, antiquarian, or whatever he calls himself. They sent him too. I'll tell you what I told him. Your council has no authority here, and the master does not receive visitors. We know that your master is very learned and powerful. We just want to ask him about something, that's all. Oh, that's terrible. You want to steal from him, more like? No, I swear. Take your lies and get out! Wait, we actually got to not fight? That's brilliant! Um... Yeah, so someone's blatantly going to be casting Prayer of Healing right about now. One, two, three, four. Can you tell me what she wore? It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny Prayer of Healing, and we all feel better. Thanks. I feel better. However, if we want to go back in, I think we're going to have to sneak in the same way. Because we want to loot those bodies. We want our treasure, earned it. How are we doing for slots? That's really bad. Should have just gone for a quick, a short rest. Yes. Absolutely arcane recover. And why not? There we go. All right. We've had a little rest. We're coming back this way now. And we're going to blatantly sneak in again and see if we can get in. If we can't get in this way, we're going to have to go for the front door. And it looks like a big tough fight in there. The kind of fight where we'd want to be fully rested before going in. Excellent. Let's go pick ourselves a fight. Oh, wow. That, that camera zoom got stuck. I, I didn't touch it. It just went in a bit on the transition. And Right. We have treasure up here, and we want it. It's ours. Damn it. However, you could do it. there's a lot of hostile targets down in there. Let's deal with all of those... <laughs> if we can. Hey, this is a crossbow. It twangs and shoots and you get shot at. You were expecting like me to come through the front door, weren't you? I 
Adam's a problem. He's also pretty damn swift. Are these all enforcers? No, some of them are archers. You are a normal skeleton and get shot. Yes, it's one damage, I know, it doesn't count as much. Ugh. Yes, come down and fight. You will be a major threat to us, apparently. So, three skeleton archers, two normal skeletons, a skeleton enforcer, or oh, just one normal skeleton. Okay. Ow. It's a problem. We have problems and we have solutions. We also have you getting hit with a mace. You cannot defeat me. Beautiful. So glad I stuck with a mace. Geffen, we need good blade work up here on the walls. And before any of you stop, I know the quote is, it's been good knife work up on the walls. My count here is nearly two dozen. Well, I know Helm's Deep, and not the shit film version where they lie either. We know Gimli won the count. He won the game. Right. You are a problem. This is a solution. This is another solution. However, eh, let, let's go with a different solution called a disengage. See that? A proper disengage. Here he comes. Death and doom. Homicide on legs. Yeah, take that attack of opportunity. No smite of opportunity. Interesting. We're denied that. All right, mate. Hammer and shield. Good start. However, he is an imposing and intimidating foe. What is this? Force of law. Okay, not going to help us here now. No turn on dead kind of thing. Branding smite. Next hit causes additional radiant damage. Next hit, not next attack, right? I'll hold off because we may very well need a big prayer of healing. So, end turn. Yes, anything to reduce their numbers. Better luck next time. That second attack is a problem. If we can push him off, that'll be great. In theory, if this was like Exanima, where the skeletons don't have the weight to resist being pushed about, we could absolutely do that. Uh, for now, though, I think we need to try and take this one down. Try again. We'll have to try harder. Oh, oh, that was nasty. Okay. Mate. That encumbrance of yours is going to become a major problem. Especially as I thought we dealt with it. Right. Should have cunning disengaged. Right. So here's a spell. It's called Flaming Sphere. It's brilliant. And it's going to go bash you. You're a normal skeleton. You take fire damage. Burn in... well... This place, really. Oh! Why does he have disadvantage? Is it because of the flames? Can't think of any other reason. But look, giving him disadvantage is great. Especially if it keeps us alive. Oh! 
We're all just making saves for being right next to it. I should have definitely moved then. Okay, interesting. Well, the flames will be moving soon. Okay, since this episode's going to run on a bit, I'm obviously going to call it Great Ball of Fire. Too obvious, too easy. Who do we hit? You. Shh. Nobody has your skills. Bravo. Nobody expects the Macious Inquisition. We are moving those flames. Don't worry. Any and all attacks gratefully received. Uh, cunning disengage. Yeah, totally. Like, away from the fire. Right. We will redirect the flame to this location. And we will cast Acid Splash. Da 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 Da, 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 failed save. Do, do. Lovely. Still disadvantage. Is he doing some kind of power attack thing that I'm, I'm not aware of at the moment? Because if so, that would make a lot of sense. Right. Go here. Hit that, please. Not ideal, but I'll live with it. Yeah, hit back, because you're getting hurt. Next time. Yeah, you take the attack of opportunity as he yeah. departs. That's a problem. We could just send the fireball down there to burn up them. Yes, we could. And probably should, to be honest. Well, we know where the flames are going next. You, mate, you're getting attacked. If I drink this potion... ...of... Oh! Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was a potion of giant strength. So if I just hit him... ...and miss, then I don't hit. Oh, well. That's a good hit. Can I do it again, please? No. Come on, you can do better. And no disengage this time. Okay, interesting. Right, I would like you to to bum bash this one, please. And then I would like you to shoot, like, okay, go over here. See this one. See that one. Yeah, they're too far away. Just like acid splash these again, please. Please, please, it's poetry. And just like poetry, they pass both their saves. Oh! Oh! Ow. Minor problem. We can live with it. Can I use Healing Word on you and mess you up? No, I can't. Allies only. But you know what? This ally needs it a bit. Thanks. Okay, hit back. Mate, you're going to have to start landing some of those hits, you know. Uh oh. What was that? Skirt and archer, okay. Yeah, take the attack of opportunity, man. You'll oh, die, miss, you know, but hey. Alright, so, this big healing potion. Heal a mate. He needs it. 
And not attacking, not attacking. Okay. You live and you learn. Oh, mate. Try again, man. So, yeah, about the urgent need for magic missile. Safi, what can you do? Not magic missile. Can you bash this one here? Or at least keep it occupied. Lovely. And then, like, a uh, spell. You know. Well, hey, you two are together, so sure, we'll go that way. That was... Something we're going to have to live with. I'm so glad he's attacking with disadvantage. Whatever it is he's doing, he's probably going to hit like a train if he ever lands a blow. Could you hit this one, please? Pretty please. I must do better. So the answer is apparently no. But we tried. I'm gonna have to start looking at scrolls soon. Like, really soon. But I'm also gonna have to try and hit this. Perfect! Ah, that's too dangerous. My friend, if you could just land a single blow, that would be magnificent. But that is beyond your ability. Right. Scrolls. What do we have here? Conjure minor elementals. I'm liking this idea. But that would probably be some kind of concentration check. Blindness. Identify. Okay. Not the best list of options right now. So let's just close and say, hey, could you like go here and burn this? No. From this angle. Please, please, this one, man. And he has loads of hit points left. As a unique thing, it's nice that he's already, like, fully identified. But the flames are now in a very bad place. Right. We need you taking acid damage. So, acid damage, please. Attacks with disadvantage. And then a second time. And we are incredibly pleased to be alive. You are a problem that needs to be dealt with. As are you. Oh, mate. Eventually, you know, would be really nice. You are more badly... Okay. Yes, we're going to have to move that fire soon. And indeed we shall. Okay, she's finally taking damage. But that's alright. Just bad luck. Oh, hard luck, girl. If you got her here, it's away from a flame. Any time now would be great. <laughs> hey! Lovely. Torium, we need you alive. In the meantime, though, we got a, a big, bully, spongy ball of burn to move. Yeah, go cause some consternation up there. Can we just, like, fight into combat really ineffectually? We can! Excellent. I thought he was going to hit there. I really did. It's almost like he's so honourable he wants to give us a chance. But it's probably something much nastier. Right, hey, could you just like... go to here? Without being hit? That'd be great. Um, 
do you have a really big potion or something? You do not appear to have a really big potion or something. What you do have is a hammer. Good. Finally! And hey, how about a really big healing word for yourself, because you really need it, which means no prayer of healing after this fight. Okay, lady, we need you to keep him incredibly occupied and land the occasional hit once in a while. It's perfect, you're doing a good job. Just keep singing about staying alive and we'll imagine you're doing it. Hey, do you get shot? Where did it go? Oh, you're up there now, I see. Well, look, there's these ones down here. You'll do. Yeah! Actual bodily contact. Oh, that's red. Is he too near the fire? Well, I mean, we're going to move it in a moment. But hey, you get... You don't get shot? Oh, interesting. Well, you do. Rather badly. And then we're going to move the ball. Okay. You're going to get a bull bash. Uh. Yeah, okay, that was seriously dangerous. Don't you just love that magical plate armor? Then again, I mean, it's not really plate armor. It's like, there's just loads of mail. Right. Hello. These are squares. I will stand in the squares. I also happen to have a crossbow. Which I can miss with. Just so you know. Yeah, these skeleton archers on the other hand, not so good at missing. Why is he light sensitive? Disadvantaged by light. Right. Now it all makes sense. Also, you're nearly dead. Not yeah. So More than nearly now. You know what? Line them up and shoot them down. As in we're shooting from a high ground to a downwards trajectory. Right, you absolutely get bull bashed this time. Because apparently we weren't allowed to do it when you were standing there on the stone. But hey, feel the burn, Mr. Skeleton. Feel the burn. And we just need to keep him lit up. In bright light. Alright, so hey, look, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and shoot you. You were doomed. Then I'm going to be very pleased with how that worked out. And back up. Hit, please! Yes! It's some damage. It's not much, but it's some. Okay, so I'm just going to try shoot you. It's not be not going to be the best shot in the world. I won't miss next time. It's not going to be amazing, but at least I'm going to get to roll. Yeah, go to go to here, and then let's move that flaming sphere down to there. Say that shouldn't burn. <laughs> Ooh. I really hope his sword is like plus two magical or something. Right, Torin. Got a couple of problems to deal with. Let's start with this one. Damn. We need to be creating space for the flame to go. So here's a problem about the flaming sphere. 
If I back her up... Problem solved. Just bad luck. If I back her away, he could go for anyone. By moving to there, I keep his position focused on these three squares here. Uh, his, his, his attention. And I can still move for Fleming Sphere. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully to here. Hey, Geffen, can you shoot a skelly? No, but you can try. Luck next time. Don't worry. You are reducing your encumbrance, also known as ammunition. Okay, move that ball, move it here. And then we're going to start ball bashing. Good so far, and equally good. Uh oh! We got a problem. He doesn't want to be near the flaming bollocks. I will kill you! Lady, you gotta move there, and then Geffen, you've gotta get the hell out of the way. He's resisting Blunt now? Ooh, okay. Well, guess what? You got a sword. Okay, mate, back up, shoot it. Yeah, look, Don't you got hope. to try. Bull. Bull bash. Ooh. Wait, wait, disadvantage by light isn't just his attack rolls? It's everything? I'm liking this. Okay, resistant to piercing. Is he resistant to all physical? Okay. Is he just constantly lit up by his own light effect, which is giving him disadvantage on everything? That would make a strange kind of sense. Let's just Next keep time. moving around him. Because we're out of flaming sphere. Okay, he's resisting all physical damage types. Good to know. I wonder if Acuteness would bypass it. Another miss? Hey, so if you're taking disadvantage on all rolls, that would involve this reflex save, right? Which will not target your armor class. We may have found a way in. And Acid Splash could very well be that way in. Oh! I mean, she's like AC 21, I think. Then again, he's reasonably hard to hit himself. Mate, you're not much better yourself. Oh yes! Your beauty! We're having his stuff. Oh, magic shield plus one. Wait, wait, wait. So the fact that we have identified a shield plus one now means that we have identified all shields plus one? This looks like her stuff. This is, this is very wrong. Well, I'll pick it all up. Some items do not fit in inventory. Of course. It's also very, very heavy. So let's move some of these around. You can have one, you can have one, there we go, right. We'll have those. This has already been looted by us, hasn't it? Yes. Okay. We want to get up here. We want someone who's reasonably lightly encumbered to do so. We want that. Good arms you got. Right, we want all of these things. And 
we will be camping and eating food soon. Are we getting every individual arrow? It looked like every individual arrow. Now this is certainly enough stuff to to warrant going back to the capital. Everyone's in heavy. Right. Kaer Tanarian, I am Legion 25, Year 24, Emperor Gwaltrian the Third. Okay. And I think we can have a short rest again, just to be a... Not here, though. Can we open this from here? Yes, we can. Let's go back outside. So we haven't found the last bones. We are in a dangerous situation. I'm blatantly going to go back here and rest. But hey... Before we do that, detect magic ritual. What have we got? Potion of greater healing. Lots of scrolls. Shield plus one. Well, we're just going to put that right there, okay? Um... There might be something worth identifying. You never know. We've already identified that. That's my tummy rumbling. And I will... Okay, lovely. Crafting, since we're going to rest. Wait, you... Huh... So, could make a scroll of cure wounds, probably should. Scroll of mage armor, not a bad idea. Battle axe of acuteness, could give it to her to fight with. I still, I know I should probably make the short sword of acuteness because I can probably get more oil of acuteness um, more pr another sword later but I want to hold off do I want to make this I think I do it will reduce encumbrance ever so slightly because we'll be using ingredients up And I'll get to find out what of acuteness does. Let us prepare for our long rest and hope it is safe. Safi has finished crafting the Battle Axe of Acuteness. That's great! Uh, plus one to hit, and it's just plus one enchantment by the look of it. Um, oh, I see, she, she finishes it before we start the rest. That's interesting. Uh, prepare spells. I'm reasonably happy with what we got here. Don't want to change any of yours. Um, a spiritual weapon, that'd be so good. Um, Okay, now I'm reasonably happy with this. Let's stop there. And indeed, that's a good place to stop the episode. Um, we are probably now looking at trudging back to civilization. We haven't found the bones yet. So, I'm going to end this episode here. 
a little bit longer than I thought. The Great Ball of Fire was extremely helpful in the fight. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, and if you have any idea where that Wraith was getting that light source that was giving him disadvantage and everything, please let me know, because I can't remember if I cast it on him at the beginning of the fight. Uh, I'm going to say bye for now. Hope to see you all next time. Cheerio, folks!